Okay, so I thought today we would make something really simple, like a route shortener. So... I guess this route can be called create. And I'm just gonna put some function here. I guess the create route can be a get method. And this can be a post. Actually, no. This should be a post. This should be a post and this should be a get. And I think I'm gonna log fatal for this one. I think this is the best practice, but whatever. Um, so if you want to make a URL shortener, you need to process the data in some way. And since I do not want to create a database right now, I'm just gonna make a key value store. So um, I guess we can say something like uh, var URL. Actually, no, yeah, yeah var. URL store is equal to make map string and string. So, so this is going to be a map of string and string. So the key is going to be the shortened URL and then the uh, mapping is going to be the full URL. So the key here is going to be the short URL and then um, the string is going to be the full URL that the user passed in. Okay, so I have these two functions. I have, I should actually name these something meaningful. So I guess this can be shorten and this one can be redirect. So the way this is going to work is when the user posts to this create route, it's going to run this function. When the user posts, well not posts, but gets uh, some URL and it's going to be stored as this uh, variable here it's gonna run this redirect method or function. Okay. So let's uh, implement the shorten function first. Well, this isn't necessarily what I want. I want to parse the form here. Uh, then I'd like to get URL. Yeah, I guess I can name the variable URL, that's fine. Do I want to do any error checking? I think not. So I don't really want to do any error checking on this. I just want to get the short URL. So I'm going to say short URL and I'm going to assign it to D5 sum and I'm going to pass in this. Uh, this takes a byte uh, slice. So I'm going to say byte. I'm going to pass the URL. So I'm going to convert this URL to a byte slice. And I'm going to take the first five characters of this. So this uh, MD5 sum is going to give me back uh, the first five characters. So I'm going to get it back the first five characters of this MD5 sum. Actually, no, this should be here. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, that's... Oh, okay, I think I know what I have to do. D5 on this and yeah, I think that I think that should work. And take the first five characters. Okay, that I think I think that should work. I'm pretty sure that should work. Okay. Um, right. So uh, we have our URL store, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say. Yeah, so we're just gonna say this short URL, so this thing that we get from the MD5 sum, we're just gonna assign. So we're gonna use this as a key and we're gonna assign the original URL that the user passes in. 
if I was actually making something uh, something real, I'd actually do a regex here and check if the URL the user passed in is actually a real URL. Maybe try to uh, request that URL once to see if it exists and otherwise discard it. It's up to you what kind of error checking you want to do, but so it's up to you what kind of error checking you want to do, but this is just going to be like a really simple example. Okay, and finally, what I want to do is I want to write to a writer and I want to write uh, the short URL and how to access it. So uh, the way this is going to work is the user is going to use this short URL variable to uh, request the original URL from us. Okay, so FMD, I think, is it? No, f printf. So we're going to f printf, and then we're going to pass in HTTP. Um, localhost. So I'm not really hosting this other domain, so you just put localhost here. And yeah, that looks fine. Okay, so this is the function that's going to shorten the um, data that passed in. So if a user passes in a long URL, this is going to take the MD5 sum of it, take the first five characters, and use those five, first five characters as a key to this um, map. And it's going to store the original URL as the value to this map. Uh, and finally, we're going to print out to the user. Um, actually, I think I need to do LN like this. Okay, so, and finally, what we're going to do is going to print out to the user this, uh, we're just going to pass it, we're just going to print out uh, localhost 8080 and then um, percent sign s and we're going to pass in the short URL here. Okay, so this is the easy function done, this is the shortened function finished. So the next thing we have to do now is we have to implement this redirect function. Okay, so with the Gorilla Mux, uh, what you can do here is, as you can see, I have these uh, braces here, right? And I can get this short URL um, variable like so. I can say vars, and I can get the mux vars like this by passing in a request. We can query our URL store using this uh, vars variable like so. So this is a mapping and uh, we don't want to get we want to actually literally get the name of this variable here like this so whatever the user passes in it's going to use that as the key to this uh, url store it's going to get the original url so i'm going to call this original uh, url and i'm going to get the okay just to make sure that this actually exists so if oh, actually no if okay Okay, so if this is okay, what I'm going to do is going to redirect this. So I'm going to say redirect. So writer request. Um, hmm. uh, this should not be status found. This should be status moved permanently. Okay. So otherwise, what we're going to do is going to say not found yet. And this takes a writer and a reader. Okay. So how many lines of code is that? That's like 37 lines of code. That's not too bad. Uh, well, let's let's actually run this and see how this works. Okay. So the way that this works is, uh, let's see. Okay, so what I have to do here is I have to post to this uh, create route and I have to pass in some variable, some form variable and the variable should be called URL. Okay, let's do that. Curl, uh, I think it's dash x post. Hmm. And URL is equal to mm, okay, I guess I didn't do this properly. Oh right, okay. 
So this should, the, okay, I was wrong. This should be F print F. And I think they should have like a new line back here. Okay, let's run this again. Okay, perfect. So what we got here is we got this URL and is that actually, is that actually what Google 75 is? Let me check. Oh, it is. Okay, that, that's uh, that's actually pretty interesting. Um, all right. Uh, uh, this is still running. Okay, so let's uh, let's take this let's take this URL. So let's take this URL and let's do a curl on this URL like this. And as you can see, as you see, as you can see, we got moved permanently, and it's gonna redirect us to Google.com. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, again, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.